One of, if not the most controversial things about GPT-3, GPT-4, ChatGPT, all of these AI language models is the fact that students are using it to cheat their way through school. Cheat, if you wanna call it cheat. Whether you be in middle school, high school, or college, it does not matter. Well, that being said, people get caught because of AI content detectors that are able to detect if the content was written with AI. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use the new GPT-4 model to bypass these AI content detectors. This is absolutely mind blowing. So let me dive right into it and show you exactly what I mean. So I have a little excerpt here that I had GPT 3.5 write about sports drinks. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it into this AI content detector and then hit check. And as you can see, it says 96% probability that this content was written with AI. So I'm gonna come back over and you can see I'm on the default GPT 3.5, which is the original GPT 3, but just turbocharged uh, for GPT plus users. So I'm gonna go make this sound human and this is the secret. So make this sound human and then semicolon line break, line break, and then control V, and I'm going to send this off into GPT 3.5. So we have our response now, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this response and then take it back over into the AI content detector and I'm going to paste it in. In the moment of truth, can GPT 3 do it? It cannot, AI content has been detected, but that's okay because now we're gonna head over into GPT 4 and do the exact same thing with GPT 4. I'm gonna say, make this, sound human and I'll grab the original text for the controlled environment. The original text that we gave GPT-3, I'll control C this, make this sound human and now I'm going to paste this in and let's see what happens. All right, so GPT-4 is done with our response. Let me go ahead and grab it and then take it over into our AI content detector and drop it in. In the moment of truth, I'm gonna hit check and this is human text. Ladies and gentlemen, I just tricked the AI into taking AI text and make it sound not AI, but in fact, make it sound human to the point where it cannot be detected by an AI content detection tool. Absolutely mind blowing stuff. And for $20 a month, you can get ChatGPT Plus and have this same ability at your fingertips. Now, one thing I wanted to mention before I wrap up this video, first of all, that's pretty base. So go ahead and subscribe, please. If you haven't subscribed, like the video, drop a comment if your mind is blown. And most importantly, share this video with a friend. Send it to one of your friends at school, but don't share it with your teachers. Now, that being said, uh, I'm gonna show a video from the GPT-4 demonstration that they put out uh, that is really impressive, and then I'll explain it. This was the original of our mock-up. And so there you go, going from hand-drawn beautiful art, if I do say so myself, to working website. And this is all just potential. Essentially what you just saw there was during the GPT-4 presentation, they drew a website out on a piece of paper, took a picture of it and fed it to the GPT-4 model and it actually delivered the HTML code for the exact website that the guy had drawn on paper. Now this is mind blowing because GPT-3 was never able to take in image inputs, never mind video and audio, which is what GPT-4 is gonna be able to do. So if you have a complex math problem or something of that nature, GPT-3 wasn't able to do it, but now you'll be able to take a picture of this complex math problem and put it into GPT-4 and get the answer that you want. Now it's really important to note that GPT-4 is not a calculator. It does not have a calculator built in, but it does have common sense. Not really common sense because it's not sentient, but you get what I'm saying. It knows a lot about a lot. It scored really high in the SATs. It scored really high in calculus. You can read about it in the research, which I will link down below. You can go through and see all of the different uh, scores and I'll put them up on the screen now, all of the different scores that it got on all the standardized tests. But Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you can cheat your way through school with GPT-4. Please don't abuse this. But that being said, if you do use this in your real life, please share it with a friend. And again, don't share it with your teacher. Peace.